go. So they're going to try and sneak in right there behind the 16 and maybe get that debris to go away. What a run for Parker, though, who told me this morning, my whole goal, there goes the debris. So we got now the grill on the 48. Oh, a spin, Junior. Yeah, down in the middle of three and four, the 74 car. Cram is around. No contact. That tape, when we showed Parker Klugerman's car, Steve had the left side of the grill taped up to, to try to get enough downforce and enough cooling, and that debris was on the right side. So it was worst-case scenario for them. He had to get that off. I agree. I mean, it was a large piece of debris in exactly the wrong spot. Parker did a great job of kind of letting the car go, getting in line, letting that air pressure release, and the debris blew right off. You see it. It looks like a piece of the backing paper from uh, like a bear bond, right? So something blew from pit road. You see it. As you mentioned, Jeff, tape on the left, trash on the right. And as soon as you let Sammy Smith go and he tucks in line behind him, boom, off it goes. Yeah, Junior and I walking down pit road before the race. And here's, here's the accident with the 74 of Dawson Cram. Not sure what started that. Getting into turn three. Looked like he's underneath Sage Karam and just got loose underneath the 66 car. Does a good job of keeping the car out of the fence. Everybody does a good job not piling in there. Well, we don't see the 